we got an old blender for $15. And then we got some frames, a sponge, fabric to lay out the paper, and a mesh. Hey, say hi, Julie. Beautiful. Some cornstarch, some old paper, some newspaper, and a bucket. What is that? You call 911? I think because he was holding this thing. Oh, yeah. Why did it bust like that? I think it's like, are you sure you want to come? <laughs> or are you really in danger? <laughs> oh my gosh, that scared me. That's crazy. Like, I've never heard that sound before. Because I know when you hold it, you can do emergency call. Oh. <laughs> so now we're going to score the screen. Julie found this screen door, right? <laughs> yeah. So we can just use the mash instead of buying like a roll of mash. I'll just start from like the edge. We have a bucket here. We're just gonna fill it up with water. Tear some paper, dump it in there, let it soak for a while, blend it. Newspaper manicure. <laughs> Ink. <laughs> it's called newspaper black. <laughs> we have a lot. Now we're just gonna blend it. We're gonna put on a show. Our blender broke. We're just gonna take this pile out and use what we have currently and just start making the paper because, you know, blender broke. What can we do? Improvise. True, I didn't get the sides either. <laughs> Actually, it works. It's because I'm like holding it. Oh no, the whole thing's out. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so I think we figured out a better plan to use the frames. We disassemble everything. We're just gonna insert that in here. Probably hot glue it to the corners. Press everything down. And ta da! Done. Julie did it. She did it. She freaking did it. Oh, that turned out so good. so cold out because we have to dip our hands into the water and every time you take it out the cold wind is blowing and your hands becomes ice <laughs> so right now Julie's actually out doing it she's actually making it really work it's pretty fun I'm really really having a good time but let's go out there I'm 
hands are so dirty. We're wrapping up. Just gonna let the paper dry. And then we're gonna get some food, eat, watch something cute, and just hang out. My little garden gnome. She cute. <laughs> no. Julie, was that fun? Super ish. You enjoyed yourself? Yeah. I wish it was more successful, but. It is successful. <laughs> I guess you gotta embrace the mistakes. Try again next time. What the heck? That's so funny. It's frozen. Is that cold? We're bringing it inside. We brought everything in because we were just out checking if the papers are dry and they are frozen. Since they're all frozen, we managed to rip one out. You can tell, it's still frozen. <laughs> Day two, we're back again. We didn't really like what we did yesterday, so we're just gonna redo it. Um, instead of newspaper, we actually used cardboard boxes instead, just so everything could be a consistent color. I think it already looks pretty good. Well, it looks like puke, but it looks pretty good. <laughs> Just some of the creations. We have another layer underneath, but space wise, we're just gonna leave it like that for now. Hello, everybody. Today is officially day two or three, I'm not too sure, but all the papers are officially dried. Just gonna collect them and compile them. These ones were made from our first attempt with newspaper. They didn't turn out too well because there's, you know, clearly there's not enough pulp in the beginning for it to be even thick enough to sustain tear and wear. Um, but they turned out okay, I would say. They're not the most terrible. I sort of don't mind that there's pieces of newspaper in here that sort of make it look like a collage. I think it's pretty cute. I would have to say, you will stain your hands in the process of making these because you have to tear them into pieces. So our second attempt, which was our probably more successful attempt, we actually used cardboard boxes. And they turned out pretty cute, I would say. I used my roses from my preserving roses video and they turned out discolored for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's very possible that the flower was dyed beforehand, so when it came into contact with water, it discolored and sort of fade quite a bit. I, I'm not sure how I feel about the yellow just yet. I am planning to paint on the paper itself just so it's not this like cardboard color and this discolored yellow. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but we'll see. They did turn out really, really sturdy. We also attempted to make some smaller pieces of paper. Like Julie made this cute oval one. I included some branches into the paper. They stay pretty well. These are the ones with the branches. Not too bad. This one that Julie made is really, really nice. I think it turned out really, really well. She used the back of the leaves. It's really, really cute. Oh, look at this one that she made. This is so cute. I think the ones with the live plant turned out better than the dry plants. So maybe that's something to keep in mind if you're planning to do this for yourself. Look how cute this is. She made a lot of good ones, I have to say. They were mostly successful. Look at this one. It's so pretty. She did this too. So just in case you're wondering what Julie's gonna be using them for, she's actually planning to use these to paint on it or to do art with. If that's something you're interested in, you should definitely check out her video. This one I tried to like sprinkle some teared up petal. It just looks dirty. <laughs> Conclusion, will I do this again? Probably not. I think it's a lot of effort to make paper from paper. Plus, some of the things that you have to have is a blender. And I'm not sure if you'll be comfortable using a blender from your kitchen and reusing it afterwards for like food and stuff. But I personally wouldn't suggest it. But if that's what you want to do, you can do that too. Otherwise, you probably have to buy a blender for this specific project. 
Overall, the process is really fun. Find yourself an adorable gnome or adorable being to do this with. I think it's sort of nostalgic for me personally because the last time I did this, I was in elementary school learning about the recycling. Sometimes it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. You know what I mean? I'm gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching.